to pack in stages, and I call this one phase one. It's where I basically Marie Kondo my packing and I pull out all of the maybes, all of the yeses, and I put them all into one area. Phase two is the weeding out process. And that's what I'm about to start next. Welcome to phase two. I like to stage my outfits on my guest bed so I can really get a good grip on what I'm bringing and make sure that I'm super prepared. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for tuning in. I'm Jessica Perrier and this week I'm headed off to the beach. And since packing is one of my favorite things to do, I thought I would share some of my favorite packing tips with you. So I told you I like to pack in phases. Well, with five days to go, I'm currently in between phase one and phase two right now. Phase one has been like months in the making, just for the record. And if you follow my Insta story, you've seen the number of boxes arriving to my house. Phase three is deciding on non-negotiables, and I have a lot of non-negotiables. Stay tuned until the end, because after I tell you all the stuff that you just have to bring on your Mexican vacation, I'm going to tell you some stuff that you can leave behind. And trust me, I know what you can leave behind. I'm also going to give you some fun extra ideas that you might just want to make some room for. And as you're watching this video, if I spark a little... I was going to say spark joy. Okay, Marie Kondo, settle down. <laughs> If I spark a little memory and you think of something that I have forgotten or I mentioned something that you were like, oh yeah, great idea, then drop me a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Okay, so here are the things you absolutely must pack according to Jessica Posh. Your passport. Hello, we're leaving the country. I like to have a photocopy on hand as well just because. Also, sunscreen. Lots of sunscreen. If I can get sunburn sitting outside for an afternoon in California, I think Mexico might just swallow me whole. <laughs> Protect the skin you're in and pack some sunscreen. On that same note, make sure you pack some bug spray. I would show you my sunscreen and bug spray, but they're in my last Amazon order on the way to me right now. Here's a really big one. Lip balm with SPF. You guys, story time. Kinda gross story time. <laughs> Two years ago when I went to Costa Rica, I was so excited. Alyssa and I had arrived to the resort almost like a week ahead of everybody else, so we were heading straight to the pool. I really don't know what inspired me to do so, but I decided to apply some lip gloss. You guys, I don't even wear lip gloss in real life, but on vacation, you know, I guess I was being cute. Well, let me just tell you, sun blisters on your lips are not cute. They're actually very disgusting and painful. It happened. I had sun blisters on my top and bottom lips. It was so disgusting, I felt like a leper. It was disgusting. And so painful. I would insert some pictures here, but you might get grossed out, but I might do it anyway. Lip balm with SPF. It was very painful, which leads me to my next tip. Pack some painkiller. Ibuprofen or whatever your preferred painkiller is needs to go into your bag because sunburns, because blister lips, you know, because tequila. <laughs> I'm like a Boy Scout and I like to always be prepared. Okay, this next one is not even because I'm a super overpacker. Have you ever had to put on a cold, wet swimsuit? Yuck. So I recommend packing multiple swimsuits. <laughs> Firstly, I like options, but also it's going to be so humid, your suit isn't going to dry as quick as you think, slash ever. So you wanna have extras because putting on a wet one is just the worst. Okay, you also have to remember spending money. That said, we are going to an all-inclusive resort. So if nothing extra is in your budget, you're totally fine. We're going on vacation and everything is included. Praise! However, if you plan to shop local, butter for souvenirs, or maybe even services, hello, beachside massages, and or tip generously, then you're going to want to have some dollar dollar bills, y'all. You're also going to want to bring an insulated cup, or maybe even two. I always have my own water cup with a straw, and sometimes I like to have another one to house my beverage of choice. Your insulated cups are obviously going to keep your poolside drinks even colder, and it also helps me personally to stay hydrated because I'm a lot more apt to be drinking water out of my straw cup than a bottle. Here's an important one. You're going to want a floppy hat. I basically like the biggest brim I can possibly find. That way I have my own sun protection no matter where the party takes me. For real, a floppy hat is going to protect you from the sun because there's lots of places that do not offer shade. I'm a cabana kind of girl myself, but in case you find yourself by the pool because that's where the party's at, you're gonna want yourself a floppy hat. Also sunglasses because hi, sun. Okay, and here's one that might not be on your need to have list, but it's definitely on mine. I've come to find out I'm a little bit of a picky eater, so I like to pack some snacks. Think like protein bars, nuts. Before I lose you, just know that I once almost died of starvation in Costa Rica. 
Suffice it to say, I hated the food, and I just don't think it can hurt to have a few emergency situations on hand. Gosh, I hope this video doesn't stress you out because I have a lot of must-haves. <laughs> You're also going to want a warm little sweater, like a little topper for air-conditioned restaurants and cool nights. Just think, when you are outside, it is so freaking hot, and the minute you walk in to dinner, they're going to have that AC blasting, and it's really freaking cold, especially if you got a little bit of sun that day. So make sure that you are packing a sweater, a light sweater that you can throw over anything and keep yourself a little bit warm. On the note of being cold, I also recommend a bathrobe and sweatpants, maybe even some slippers for your room. I told you guys I can be a little bit extra, but for real, just like with the restaurants, I'm telling you, it will feel like an ice box, which is amazing for sleeping, but cold otherwise. Okay, next up, you need a cute backpack or maybe even a belly bag for day trips, excursions, shopping outings, whatever. Your backpack can double as this, but I like to bring a separate tote for the beach and the pool. If not for just your personal necessities, my optional list of extra items will be sure to fill these bags up. <laughs> Think uh, Bluetooth speaker, personal mister, pool noodles, you know. Another must have for vacation is the internet. I know, blah, 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 you're on vacation, you don't need the internet, and I mostly agree, but still, contact your carrier and make sure that you're going to be able to use your phone. If nothing else, you'll be able to find Wi-Fi places and whatnot, but I still like to know that I'm connected and can reach, you know, whoever I need to. What if your mama calls? I like to be prepared. I hope you guys are taking notes. All right, we're moving on to stuff that I've packed before and I've learned not to. My curl formers. You guys have seen me use my curl formers in um, a demo video and I love when my hair is curly, but I have packed them on several beach vacations and I have found that my curls fall flat immediately if they even curled at all. Humidity does a number on my flat hair and so um, curling irons, curlers, that sort of thing, you can save the space. Okay, this one, do as I say, not as I do, because I'll probably end up packing too many anyway, even though I know full well that I should not. When I went to the DR, I think I packed like 12 pairs of shoes, and I only ended up wearing a, probably a handful, maybe five pairs or something, so I've learned not to pack too many shoes. If you wanna follow my tip, I think you can probably get by with a pair of flip-flops, a pair of sneakers, and one pair of sandals or wedges for like dinners, and you'll be fine. Since I'm going to be gone for eight days, I'm definitely limiting myself to eight pairs of shoes, or less. I'll probably bring eight though. Lord knows I've already pulled 16 necklaces. Another thing you definitely do not need to bring, beach towels. You guys, I have the cutest towels that I am always just dying to bring. But alas, it's silly to bring beach towels because the resort always provides you towels. Whether it's for the beach, the pool, your excursions, just always remember to return them. Okay, if you're still here, it's time to be extra. Here's my list of indulgent little luxuries that just might make your trip a little bit more fun, according to me. Bluetooth speaker, bring the party. I started bringing my Bluetooth speaker, I think back in Costa Rica, and everywhere that Alyssa and I went, we had that speaker cranking. We literally bring the party. Your fanciest resort wear. And if you don't have any, that's totally fine. But hello, where else can you dress like J-Lo and have it be appropriate? Fun beach jewelry, like my lizard necklace or my seashell necklace. <laughs> a cooler bag. I like to bring my fish. Meet the fish. <laughs> um, but Jessica, why am I bringing a cooler bag? Well, if you're going out to the pool or to the beach all day, you wanna keep some stuff extra cool, right? Even if it's just your phone. It's an all-inclusive resort, but they don't have like waiters walking around with chilled grapes all day. So I like to, you know, be able to pack some stuff in my cooler bag. Oh, here's a little extra one. Eyelash extensions. Wake up bright-eyed and bushy lashed every morning. <laughs> I also have a lighted travel mirror because remember we're sharing a room with somebody else and we don't know what the lighting or mirror situation is going to be. Pool toys, again, this is my extra list. Beach games a GoPro camera, a tripod for making videos and taking selfies, and group pictures. All of the memories. Okay, those are all of the things that I brainstormed last night when I was preparing to start my packing today. I'm so super excited to be getting into it and I'm going to be sharing a little behind the scenes packing tips on my Insta story. If you got some tips from this packing video and you enjoyed watching, hit that thumbs up button so I know you liked it and so you can make me smile. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so excited to head to Mexico with 290 of my closest friends. Literally, you guys, Posh is going to take over that resort, and I could not be more excited. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Bye!